Hello and welcome to JustCompareCars.com. My name is James and today I'm going to be doing a walk around video of this 2016 66 plate Citroen Dispatch. It's 1.6 blue HDI 115 Enterprise XS 1000 van. It's done just 20,000 miles and it's got full service history with three services in total. Okay, so we've been doing these walk around videos for quite a while now and we find them to be very popular, mainly because it means you get to view the vehicle from the safety and comfort of your own home, but as if you were here today with me in person. There's a walk around the vehicle with you today, we'll control the panels individually, looking for any marks, scratches or dints. We'll have a look at the wheels and tyres, looking at the tread depths. We'll have a look inside, look in the back, then we'll have a look inside the cab, looking at the seats and the functionality. I'll even tell you what it smells like inside. When we've done that, we'll pop the bonnet and have a look at the engine. And finally, we'll have a look underneath at the underside of the engine and the chassis. Now, it's worth mentioning that once you've watched your video, if you're happy with what you see and you want to buy it, a small deposit will secure it and we can pretty much deliver it anywhere in the world. If you're looking to finance a vehicle, we can go through an application with it. It takes about five minutes. Now, there's no VAT to pay on this one, so it means you don't need to put a deposit in if you don't want to. Um, an application takes five minutes and we can usually get your decision within an hour. It's also worth mentioning that once you've watched the video, if you think I've missed something, or if you'd like to see something in a bit more detail, please just ask, and I'm more than happy to do it for you. Now, at the end of the day, I'd rather show you before you leave the safety and comfort of your own home, so that you can obviously be completely satisfied with the vehicle when you turn up to look at it. Right, let's start with the bonnet, and then we can work our way around from there. Um, it's always worth mentioning, obviously it's a UK vehicle, it's been on UK roads. It goes without saying, there's going to be a couple of stone chips or whatever, which I will endeavour to try and point out to you. But as you can probably appreciate, um, it's difficult to show you all of them. So what I'll try and do is point out the worst of them. So the bonnet is in nice clean condition, as hopefully you can see. Um, no nasty marks or dents. Everything looks really nice and clean. Nothing detrimental at all, to be fair. Um, in regards to the panel itself, I mean, it's, it's really straight. I can't see any dints. Um, we're going to point a couple of stone chips out, but actually, in reality, there isn't that many at all. There's one there. There's one there. And there's a couple there as well, but they are, again, tiny. <coughs> so, driver's side headlight. I'm working away around the front bumper. And there is a tiny little mark just there. very faint scratch just there but other than that hopefully you can see from the image um, there's really nothing else to show you to be fair very very faint stone chip but nothing serious headlights in great condition as well as is the front grille so working on to the passenger side wing As you can see, it's in nice clean condition. There's no nasty marks or dents. Everything's really very clean. Passenger side front wheel and tire. Uh, the wheel's in good condition. Obviously, it's a steel wheel. <clears throat> I think it's probably had um, wheel trims on at some point. There's a couple of little weird marks on it, which suggests that it has. Um, but as you can see, it's in good condition. Tread depth. Difficult to show you, to be honest with you, but I reckon there's about seven or eight mil. Windscreen is in nice clean condition and it's free from any stone chips or cracks. Passenger mirror back is in nice clean condition, there's no damage and the mirror is intact. Over the pillars. And hopefully you can see from that uh, they're in nice clean condition as is the passenger side of the roof as well. I always like to look at this side view on um, before I go down the side. I'm just push that camera across a little bit. Reason being is you can see that there's no misalignment of gaps and also the paint's perfect match across. So you can see that it's not been in any sort of an accident and it's not been repaired um, and obviously it's not been any damages at all. Right, so down the passenger side. I always like to look at this view simply for the fact that you can see if there's any ripples in the paint, you see if there's any dints any marks and hopefully as you can appreciate from the image 
this one's in fantastic condition and there isn't any actual marks to point out to you at all. At the end of the day, it's only obviously done 22,000 20, miles, sorry. So obviously 20,000 miles. It's not done a great deal in its, in its years that it's been going on the roads. Being really critical, there is a tiny little dent just there. It's just there, I don't even know if it's gonna point out. Can you see it? It is tiny. Other than that, I can't see anything else at all. Passenger side rear wheel and tyre. Wheels in young condition. Uh, tyre looks like new, to be fair. <clears throat> there is actually another little tiny dent just there, I just noticed. You see that? Size of a pinhead. So, in the back... Um, as you can see, it's exceptionally clean. Everything looks really nice. Um, it's got the... There you go. So they pop out, so you've got the extension so you can put ladders in there if you wish. And as you can see, they're all nice and clean as well. Let's uh, put that back in. I'm not sure how that goes in, to be fair. Is it that one? I think that's it. That's it. So that's it. I'm going to have to leave that. I can tell you how you put it back, but I'll put it back later on. Um, ply lines in the doors and in the rear. But as you can see, exceptionally clean. Um, it smells nice in the back as well. Just shut that. Passenger tail lights in nice clean condition. There's no damage. No cracks, no misting, everything looks really nice and clean. <clears throat> Rear bumper, it has got parking sensors. There's a couple of little superficial marks where it's obviously done a bit of work, but nothing serious at all. Nothing that really takes away from the vehicle at all. So tailgate or rear doors, I suppose, is more, more in line, not tailgate. I'm not used to talking about pickup trucks. Um, yeah, rear doors are in really nice, clean condition. Tiny little dent just there. I'm being properly critical at that, but I'd rather show you everything. A couple of tiny little marks just down below. And just on the door there, there is a tiny little mark. It's like maybe a stone's bounced up and hit it or something. But other than that, it's not bad. On the very edge, of the bumper on the iron bit, this is a couple of little tiny scuffs. <coughs> Both doors open as you can see at the back, giving you a decent size opening. They do lock into place with the flaps. Optional coat hanger. Everything's nice and clean in the back. It smells nice uh, and it's a decent clean space. Let's push it shut. Driver side tail lights in nice clean condition, there's no damage. There is one tiny little scratch on the lens, but that's nothing. It's not damaged at all. A couple of tiny little marks up above. Again, superficial, nothing there to show you really, to be honest with you. There's a tiny little mark there. Right, so start with the pillars. They're in great condition. Driver's side of the roof is nice and clean. Being really critical, there is a tiny just mark there. Driver's side rear wheel and tyre, wheels in good condition. Decent quality tyre with matching tread depths to the opposite side. <coughs> right, so driver's side. Again, no misalignment of gaps, no mismatch of paint, everything looks spot on. Right, so let's go down the panels. Obviously, I've pointed that one out to you. I can't see a great deal else, to be honest, but we'll have a good look. Very small mark just there, like a wood mark more than anything else. Can't see anything on the panels. Uh, 
but it's a tiny little rub mark just there. I'm not going to show, is it? It's tiny, but on the driver's door there is a little tiny stone chip. There's no dents I can see, and everything looks really nice and clean. Driver's side front wing's in great condition. There's no damage. Driver's side front wheel and tyre. Wheel's in good condition. There's no damage. And it's matching tread depth to the opposite side too. Each tyre on each axle's got basically approximately the same sort of tread. So obviously both sides open. Nice and clean. Obviously you've seen in the back. Right, so onto the interior. Driver's door cards in nice clean condition. It's free from any damage. Everything looks really good. Electric windows on the armrest. And then obviously, um, I presume that's electric folding. Oh no, it's not. That's your mirror control for the, um, for the actual mirrors. But yeah, everything's nice and clean. Well presented. A um, little bit of ingrained muck there, something from someone's elbow or something. But nothing serious, that could potentially clean out. Driver's seat. Bolsters are nice and firm. Materials are really nice and clean. And again, no great shock. 20,000 miles. It's not done a great deal as at the end of the day. Uh, but yeah, seat's in good condition. Um, you've got a, a level of manoeuvrability with the seat, so you can make it come up and down. So that's good. Um, it's got the overmats in the front all round. So that obviously wraps around the front and the passenger side as well. And as you can see, all the floors are in really nice, clean condition. All right, so let me jump in. Dashboard is in great condition, there's no damage. I think it pops up like that, yeah. There's a pocket in the front. There's no damage or anything like that. That's like a clusters of coin holder or ashtray or something. Talking of which, it doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked into me. It's in obviously really nice clean condition throughout. Roof lining's in great condition as well. It has got the fold down armrest. You can put your paperwork and whatever else on there. Passenger seats in the front. All the materials are really nice and clean. Bolsters are very clean as well. Um, cubby hole, don't know what you'd use that for. Obviously that one does lift up and as you know it goes into the back of the van that you saw all earlier on. They're all in nice condition. Headrests are in good order. All right, so let's start it up. Uh, there are two proper keys for this. So you don't need to do anything to start it up, you just don't have to put your clutch in or anything like that. Obviously this has got um, state-of-the-art media centre with it. I'm not going to go through all the details, it's basically Apple CarPlay, it's got mirror link, etc. So with obviously with Apple CarPlay, everything that's in your phone you can have basically on, on your system. And as you can see it there, but obviously you do need to plug it in using your USB which is down here. There are other options on there as well. <coughs> So you've got your music, which is obviously um, loading. I'll show you in a sec, hopefully. There we go, DAB. Um, so you've got AM, FM, and DAB. And you've got USB, obviously iPod, auxiliary, and also Bluetooth audio as well by the look of it. Um, <clears throat> obviously that's where your Apple CarPlay and your mirror link is. Then you've got all. Uh, options of different ones. You've got uh, three different driver settings as well, I noticed earlier on. So three different profiles, that's obviously for the media center. So, you know, if you like Radio 1 and you want someone it works for, you prefers classic or whatever, then it'll change it around for them. Um, steering wheel control, well, they're not steering wheel controls, I suppose, but the controls for the music and the media center are there, and also cruise controls here. <coughs> it has got air conditioning. Um, so we'll give that a go. Just turn that down to low. Um, oh, 
out air conditioning works really well it's, it's freezing straight away so that's obviously a good sign let's switch that off um, steering wheels in nice clean condition it's free from any damage there's no unusual marks everything looks good uh, like i said before it smells really nice inside as well doesn't smell like it's ever been smoked in so that's good six speed manual gearbox um something that stuck out to me on this it's got a, a driver fatigue mode on it so you know if you feel like you you're going to fall asleep it will <laughs> or maybe you don't realize you're going to try and fall asleep maybe it tells you i don't know um good options anyway for a van um obviously having air conditioning cruise control and a really fancy media center all proper bonuses um also very low miles in fantastic condition what more can you ask for really i suppose in that sense right so let's switch that off i now need to find out where the bonnet catch is so i can't see it it's not obvious obviously it's citroen so it's probably on the passenger side but let's have a quick look can't see it there good opportunity to have a look in the passenger side anyway um, so it's worth mentioning we are commercial vehicle specialists so we do have other vans on site we do have pickup trucks as well um, as I say we specialise in these types of vehicles so if this one's not for you for whatever reason um, have a look on our website and uh, you will be able to see all the other bits that we've got available so oh, there you go nice and easy I did just notice a small little dint in my dock I can't remember if I saw it before or not but there is a little pea sized dint there have a look under the bonnet. Just need to figure out how to open the catch. It's not obvious, unfortunately. Right. Oh, that's it, that one. So, under the bonnet, everything's really very nice and clean. Um, there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. All the fluids are clean and to the correct levels. End of the day, it's got full service history. It goes without saying it's been maintained correctly and well. So yeah, all good. Decent Vorta battery. And you see on the turbo unit, there's no signs of any oily residue or leaks. And everything looks good. So, underneath. Again, you can see there's no signs of any historic oil leaks. All the chassis is in great condition, as is the exhaust. Everything looks good. Oh. Nothing really to see under there, is it? to be fair. Let's have a quick look under the back. Spare wheel is again a steel. And the tyre's got probably about four millimetres of tread. As you can see, but everything looks really good under there. Nothing to, to worry about at all. No great shocks at 20,000 miles. So, um, hopefully I've shown you everything that you would need to see if you were here today with me in person. I appreciate that um, it's probably a bit long, but I'd rather show you too much than not enough. Um, I think in... I'm sure you'd agree that the van's in great condition it's obviously got really low miles and it's a great specification so if you like what you see give us a shout get your deposit down and secure the vehicle 200 pounds secures it takes it off sale and obviously we can go from there uh, it's also worth mentioning if you like the look of the van have a look on our facebook page there are pictures on there that you won't see anywhere else for the moment though thanks for watching and sticking with me i really appreciate it take care stay safe Bye-bye.